now we are seeing the pelvic region of a uh, 40 years old female with severe right eye leukosa pain spreading to all of the abdomen rather presented with acute abdomen uh, and uh, i do not have any uh, history otherwise by the physician or any other lab profile available to me and what we are seeing here is that uh, this is the actually the she is so tender does not allow me to press but anyways to show you first of all that this is the uterus there is no history of any gynecological uh, issue and uh, this is the urinary bladder in longitudinal section now keep you see a structure tubular structure surrounded by uh, hypopoic rim this one measuring approximately uh, 8.8 uh, mm from inner to inner and uh, this is this sm uh, s small amount of fluid in fact around this transfer section of the cystic structure the pregnancy test she according to her uh, she ha she is going through her periods so that uh, does rule out any possibility of uh, ectopic pregnancy and when i now i'm going to give if you if you just uh, try to concentrate on this region this area this one and when i will now i'm going to give a sweep to this probe and you will see it becomes tubular this is a tubular structure where you expect appendix and this is acute appendix surrounded by small amount of uh, fluid and the bubble walls you can see uh, are thin clad internal lumen bubble layers cannot be made out and uh, this region internally we do not see any debris or echo or any other calcification now it turn it is a tubular its both ends are blunt no lobulation is seen and now see i am going to give a bit of a pressure to this region to see whether it is compressible or not let me magnify a bit this is the structure tubular structure under study this one sorry we will study this later sorry this is the tubular structure this one this one. this area now i am applying pressure and patient is extremely tender it does not collapse so this tubular structure does not collapse uh, on giving uh, pressure there is no adjacent uh, lymph node enlargement and this is the transverse view of the same this area and this is the longitudinal view of the same structure so you whenever you see a tubular structure anywhere we should try to give a sweep of at least 90 degrees to see if uh, it is it retains its shape or it changes its shape and uh, as shown it is classically placed at the region of this is the urinary bladder this region this is the urinary bladder and this is that area this is the urinary bladder this is the area of interest and here it becomes tubular when i give a sweep to the probe okay now let's apply some color try to apply some color on this region and see if there is any blood vessel seen in the vicinity
within it or in its wall. Do you see anything? No blood flow is seen. We do not see any blood flow through the wall, through the or inner structure. So, non-vascular structure. Now, <coughs> let's try to do it with the uh, high frequency probe to see the difference between the high uh, the difference in high frequency probe and uh, a trans abdominal approach uh, by a curvy linear 3.5 centimeter probe. Okay, let's remove this. Now this is the structure. Here it is. This is the structure. That is under study. And now I'm going to give a sweep to the probe. Follow it, it becomes tubular. There is a small fecal scene. Here it is. This one. A small ecogenic area giving posterior shadow that we were unable to see uh, on uh, uh, transabdominal 3.5 megahertz transducer. Now you can make up the walls. Now here the walls are seen. The area that as I was saying is a fluid is not fluid. This is in fact uh, the wall of the appendix measuring 2.4 millimeters. This is the lumen a small fecal here with the wall. This is the difference of scanning uh, over the high frequency probe. And uh, you see, this is a fecal here. This is a fecal this area, giving shadow of this. Some bacteria. Okay, wait. So. This is the difference. This is the urinary bladder here, and this is the our area of study, which is the appendix with no adjacent lymph node or uh, fluid. Seeing these are the adjacent bowels in the region of the right lower quadrant. So this is our case of the day. Thank you very much.